wait four seconds, then do the clap. <laughs> no! I've got um, kid blood on my shirt. Weird. All right. Okay. So, so basically, the at the yeah. end, the end, end of last session. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, we're gonna combine it. We're gonna pretend like it was just one session. We all changed shirts. <laughs> Sorry guys, so had to get on a less. clean shirt. Yeah. yeah, I spilled uh, stuff on my other one. I had to show up. I was bank sweating place. from the the intensity, the vault yeah. sequence there. Yeah, I was drenched. Uh, but Norman and JV were able to slip by the guards. So Harlow. Please. Oh well, no. Well, now we're, we're at home Blue. base. You're, you're Norman again. Mr. Blue, I know, but Mr. Blue is Norman taken the into North. custody. However, when taken into custody, a mysterious strange fellow who seemed a bit out of his Wise mind man told from him Nazareth. about an oasis <laughs> not far away <laughs> where there was a cult the called uh, the cult of hard rock that was harnessing some kind so of stones illusion. and it appeared that uh it may what? have similar properties to whatever harlow had been or excuse me mr blue rather had been looking for and after kind of a slap on the wrist as he hadn't really been doing anything too wrong and you know, Harlow's a, a kind of quick talker. Oh, uh, guys, squeeze on me, up, squeeze on me, up. Like, really fast. To kind of weasel his way out of there. And so, now you find yourself at JB and Jet Cheetah's apartment, within the heart of Drytopia. A small space, yet made comfortable by the variety of decoration. Tinkering tools and halfway finished prototypes lay in every direction. Somebody should do a Kramer entrance into this room. I'm, I don't live there, so I think I should. I think I should. Are we gonna? Are we gonna deck? Yeah, we're not gonna. You wanna read? You wanna read the rest? You read it. You're way better at reading. Describe the scene. Describe the scene. You know how to read, Bizzle. Describe the scene. This guy knows how to read. I I dictate. He reads. You know what I mean? Damn literacy. Yeah. All right, well, hold on. Let me get this those. This guy's you a product of the goddamn college. public school system. Let me paint you system. a picture of the mind. Well, I, I, okay, actually, wait, I found I found the scene two picture paper, so. What? I I lost the scene two. Can That's Canadians why I... read? That's the question. Oh, yeah. My my scene two this is terrible. This is starting to be actually. like a Trump thing. Like I don't know if you can. I can't think yeah. of an instance where I've sent you something and you had to read it. <laughs> I want you to prove it to me. Read one sentence. It's right there in the right, Discord. Well, okay, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you the spark notes of this. See, right, you can't TLDR. read it word it's for right word. There in the Discord, Brian. I'm like, like, I'm like Charlie Day. I'm like, uh, yeah, it, I get it. It says no pirates allowed. No, uh, um, <laughs> all right, so we're in my, we're in our fucking, we're in my apartment, me and Cheetahs, and, uh, as you can tell, it's a little, it's a little tiny little New York style flat, all right, it's a little small, Jet Get Cheetah. Cheetah, sorry, oh, I'm, a, I'm, we're on, can't read it, we're on, <laughs> it's like we're Samuel on Jackson, second name, okay, uh, <laughs> we're on second name term basis, all right, me and Jet Cheetah, all right, well, anyways, I'll, you know, it's my story, so. I think I think <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> that is yeah. how Jerry remembers it, but as Dungeon uh, Master, yeah. I'm Overruled. telling you the fact uh, is. Alright, all right. well anyways, okay, as you In can tell. In my memory, Jet's gay, by the way. <laughs> Jet, <laughs> Jet's really <laughs> That's <laughs> canon now. He's bisexual. No. He's bisexual. Bi yeah. He's bisexual. He's bisexual. He's a small penis though. Every it's old somebody who's that attractive doesn't play for one exactly. thing. Exactly. He's just yeah. fucking on everything. Uh, as you we can see, we him, share it. <laughs> All right, so in one corner, we got a bunk bed. We share it. We sleep together. On the other corner, we have a bathtub. One bunk? What? Yeah, a bathtub space. with a bead curtain and a little seat apparatus for my little invention. It's, uh... And, uh... The day. And, and then, no, it's a... What's the oh, invention? Oh, it's a shit tub. I figured that... How's it work? Oh, I have to go into how it works. Okay, basically it's a seat. <laughs> it's a fucking, it's a fucking seat. All right, because we're we're trying to consolidate space, so it's a seat yeah. comes out, and when you press the button, it makes the hole in the in the shower sink bigger, so that you can shit and also shower. Oh. It's it's the safe space because we live in a shoebox. Where do we go? You have indoor plumbing and mechanical. I was living in a goddamn woven hut. Like, yeah, yeah. But we live in the, we live in Drytopia. The, the vaults. The vaults. If you remember, the vault was lit. Yeah, it was lit. It was, yeah, it was it a good time, just, but yeah, what does that have to do? The candle was on the wall or something. Yeah, like, it was a total party, but what does that have to do you, with anything? Uh, you, I mean, you, you, you know, you're not, I guess you're not uh, worldly as I am, at least in this uh, scenario. We got like a... Well, I have PlayStation, so... I mean, yeah, he's got, he's got like movies and shit. Got and Nintendo's. I have electricity in a shit tub that I invented. All right. Awesome. 
And now, we are in the fucking room, talking about what just happened. Begin. Scene start. Am I? Wait, yeah. Oh, you, you know what? I, I forgot. Prison? So, okay. Wait, can I Kramer walk in? Oh, you wow. doesn't have like a tank that you like flush and like it would have to be a lot of water. Like this is not no, you, good for the you environment. Just, you just turn on the shower head to and it flush. Just, no, you turn on the shower head and it, it just has to reek in there if you take a shit and just like lay down <laughs> yeah, on the dry tub. You gotta make do. I, 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 I didn't say it was. It was awesome. It was that a necessity? Okay. And yeah, a guy, water. I we have to guy that to be hot. a lot. It yeah. would be really inefficient to flush an entire. <laughs> it's tub a big shit hole. Shit. It's a big hole. Yeah. Okay. And in like a poor fact, uh, Harlow remembers because the the man who was talking to him said specifically that the stones that this cult of hard rock was mining were the same, contained the same sort of power as what powered. So the Harlow, city. you can ch you can choose. How you so whatever whatever property these stones have is related to what what powers the city lights. Mm. So there is some kind of quality, and it is a city. Uh, JB lives in kind of a, a rundown I area. I don't to say that it's a less yeah. privileged, <laughs> but <it's> a, <laughs> but they still they still urban. have running water and power for you know certain Wait, so things. So it gets nicer than this. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I guess way so nicer. The, so JB's shit tub is, like, destitute level? <laughs> That's an invention. That, means, where that was is my idea. <laughs> well, to, he, he, I mean, it wasn't a shit tub it before. Was it was awful. Oh, but they have just toilets he's also? In, he's invented <laughs> and modified. It's a consolidated. Uh, because consolidated. It was even described. Like, it's very small and it's cluttered with, you know, different inventions. But there is a sense of coziness to it. Like it's, it's smell. It you know stinks. when you go into somebody's house and, it, and you know you're in that person's house? You look at the walls. You look at the decorations. There's no it's decorations. Like, oh, yeah, it's concrete walls. Sands, like... And there's scum everywhere. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Mm, tinkers. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, hey, Tank. I walk right. in. That's so, a, that's I thought you were work. arrested. You shut up. It's my <laughs> Brian, turn. Brian, you said I get to choose you, how you I get, escape. You, yeah, you, you get some creative freedom. Back you can tell flip. us how you got back. You, you can tell uh, us how you got out of prison. Well, we I, did the ex I did the exact hmm. Magneto scene where he's doing, where I previously <laughs> referenced, where a little ball of metal is shooting through all the guards, and I pull, oh. I pull it, all the, all the lead so the out of the man. the guard comes up to you, and you go, "There's something different about you, yeah. Mister Anderson. Are your iron levels, your levels up? high?" <laughs> and he's like, "What? <laughs> ne never, never try to." He says something about, "Don't try to bang chicks that are out of your league or something." <laughs> <laughs> they always want something. What a weird you final blow. Yeah. Yeah. You had sex with my assistant, Jerry Beetleman's mom. <laughs> She's a whore I use for my own proclivities. I was going to say, cut to, cut to Mr. <laughs> Yellow with a wig on, blowing the security guard and injecting him with iron. Yeah. But, okay, yeah, JP's yeah. mom, that's yeah. fine. Or, either I, one I do works. do anything for my goddamn heist mates. Either one works. <laughs> yeah, and then um, and then I, I guess I just I come over. Hey, guys, <laughs> what's going on? What the hell? Uh, I meet you out in the uh, hallway oh, yeah, before we works. go into the apartment. I go, by the way, they just like left you. Like I wanted <laughs> to turn around. It was very concerning how quickly JB and especially Jet, he just fucking scrammed. That guy is, he puts off fucking <laughs> weird like Ryan Gosling vibes. I don't really I, much care for him. I but, don't uh, say anything, but I know you left me too because you had a I, chance and you you were like, what? We're getting out of to here? Come back. I was... Look, I don't want to say there was some sort of like, I don't know. You ever like try to have like an inner monologue and like the monologue might look like a couple squares of like maybe, you know, people that you know. And yeah. maybe multiple of the squares were scowling at me telling me to hurry up because this is the first of many scenes. I've kind of had that internal like. It happens all the like, time. Yeah. yeah, it was like an I, internal yeah. fight going on in my mind. Oh, I wanted yeah, to go sure, save you, but there were some people going like. Yeah, <laughs> let him leave. Let him. Yeah, oh. just let him slave him. <laughs> okay. So I didn't want to. It just seemed like it, uh, maybe I was on rails. I wasn't acting myself. Oh, that's fine then. And then I we we make out or something in the hallway. 
I feel your little tight ass. <laughs> and then, oh fuck! I'm just like, oh, I'm just like, you're holding him off. His legs are you. kicking. Yeah. Yeah. Hold Wait, on, can... I'm checking the script here. It doesn't say anything. No. It says feel free to <laughs> feel free make to out. ad lib or yeah, yeah, make yeah. any sort of a romantic relationship <laughs> okay, if it comes yeah. naturally. If you guys want to yeah. fuck, that's fine. Say, oh fuck! What is this feeling? I, it's coursing through me right now. Okay, no. What I want you to do with your magic powers <laughs> is I want you to uh, levitate me up. Oh yeah. So I can put my asshole on the other side of the people, and then I want you to oh. knock on the door. Okay. okay. Oh. All right. oh. I lift you up and I pull down your pants and you <laughs> cocks at me. I go, Ugh. and then I push push you up against it and I ring I the doorbell. I could have done that part. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I could have lowered my own pants. Yeah. But thank you. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, your, your musk is so intoxicating. Oh, this uh, reminds me of what I used to do with Jerry's dad. Okay. All right. We don't have to lock eyes. Yeah. yeah. Knock on the door. I've gone too far. <laughs> my wife and kids god what am i doing <laughs> i said i wouldn't do this again <laughs> i'm pulling out my pants and my dick like <laughs> it like, like spring loads into your face <laughs> oh you're in your fucking wonky eye oh, yeah. scrambles it up i go yeah. doing <laughs> Bring. ring a doorbell again it's locked, could be, I think. Could be anyone. Yeah. I'll get it, and I'll just sit there and not do anything. <laughs> just, uh, just read. Keep reading. Well, we can do this what? all day, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to go get a bite to eat? Actually, there's a great yeah. burger spot. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back. Right. I guess they're not home. <laughs> yeah, they Let's left. give them a moment. Yeah. We bounce. We got oh, We got a, our first date. <laughs> All right, all right. Yeah. I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open the door. Come in. Come into my humble abode, guys. Make hey. yourselves at home. Uh, there's not much places hey. to sit. So uh, pick a, no pick harm, a piece no on the ground. A hey, pick a place on the floor. Yeah. Oh, no harm, no foul. You don't foul. have any like. Uh, well, there's one. Ch there's two chairs, and Cheetah gets one. I don't get say the no other. harm, no foul. He didn't apologize yet. I know that's For all I'm insinuating. Like, what did I do wrong? Yeah. I don't do worry anything. about it. No harm, no foul. I mean, I was in prison. You know, I had to break myself out. Yeah, you were flying around like a fucking wizard. Why did you, why did you just get out? Why did you just Completely fly over? Left me. Well, but I didn't. I was very roll. confident that you'd get out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and, and well, look, you, know, I was you right. know what excessive uh, wizardry does to this man? It gets him yeah. fatigued. My mind becomes so addled. I need, so, I need something to excite me. <laughs> After a while, he couldn't need... think of what he wanted to do, and I was like, "Don't you just want to fucking escape?" <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it took a while. I can't concentrate on what I want in this moment as the cops are raining down blows on top of your head. I can't what do boom, I want? Boom, boom. It's getting harder to concentrate. Um, yeah, so what's up, Jerry? Well, yeah. well, I can't remember why I'm mad at you. <laughs> We're back to square one, guys. I used a guys. lot of magic in the whole well, way. Yeah, well, pretty well. unsuccessful on the whole uh, <laughs> the, the heist front. But yeah, like, Cheetah uh, has some rocks apparently. Came out Cheetah, bone did you, dry. you find something? Cheetah, Cheetah, what did you get? I don't think you got anything. Uh, I don't get nothing. We totally saw I you mean, grab something. Somebody, somebody said you grabbed something. Kind of I'm like 99% sure you out. just grabbed something out of a, out well, of a box a, and then, and a then abandoned us. Yeah. It wasn't a rock, was it? No. What was it? Jet, you know, you was can trust he definitely me. grabbed something. You can tell me what it was. You can tell me what it was, Jet. JC. Nothing for you guys. Nothing for us. I mean, well, you got your own side mission going in this place? Is that why you came? Or what? You just found it there. And he holds up the instrument. What is that? It. Is that a guitar? And he just goes back. No, it looks more like a guitar. clarinet mixed with a saxophone, but it has he strings. Played? Whoa. So you have to go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Gotta, Brian's making strum. work for himself in the yeah. editing process. Oh. Yeah, what is this? Yeah, well, yeah, well, I can do. I can yeah. do a fucking saxophone. Doing saxophone yeah. harmonica solo Monica. with this, it's, Jet. Yeah, it's got, it's got Jet, like a, a kind concert. of a funky. It's got a funky bass sound. Okay. To it. All right, bum, bum, like si think Seinfeld. Like it's very like. Bum, it's kind of like the Seinfeld yeah. theme song. Holy shit! I look around. But, this is Jerry's apartment. This is. Mm -hmm. Well, All fuck, right, guys. So what do we do now? Uh, We're fucking boned. Anyone uh, got any leads? <laughs> like, uh, anyone? Anyone at all? Arlo, uh, you you know you you got us into this mess. Uh, you, not really. With your fucking rock ideation. Oh yeah. Well, here I've got the newspaper and I've got the job ad. We could get jobs, <laughs> summer jobs, and buy and buy it ourselves. You think? Nah, yeah. I got an inheritance and a trust fund. I'm good. Oh. 
Yeah. You, I come from wealth, generational wealth. I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> I'm here yeah. for the excitement in my life. <laughs> I just wanted to rob something. I just want to be feel fulfilled. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the rumor stirred within Harlow, but he retained what? it to himself. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, there's a rumor that is in me, <laughs> but it's. I'll keep it. Yeah, spill the tea. Why don't you spill the tea about the rumor? There's. I shouldn't. Okay, no. wait. Isn't he like a lot bigger and, than and us? And from the corner, Jet begins to produce a very kind of emotional tune. There's almost a build-up sensation to it. A song of anticipation and eagerness builds an air of mystery around what Mr. Blue may or may not say. Am I Mr. Blue? No, no I'm Mr. Mr. Blue. Am I Mr. supposed Yellow. to say it? <laughs> it, it? All right. I don't think that I should. Was, it, we, uh, I don't, no, I'm, I, I genuinely just want Brian making a ton of music what? for his episode. So I'm, I'm pretty sure from here on, I'm just going to keep adding yeah, uh, like, oh, every, music every based fucking every, every room has an anthem. Yeah. This better is it come just out me in or December. Is it hot in this apartment. Crack that window open so we can hear. So I think there's some people busking out on the street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a roaming band never, in the background. Yeah, a, <laughs> you guys ever seen Stomp? And I start going <laughs> with everyday items around the house. Oh yeah. And fortunately, Jerry's place, although made out of mostly concrete and cum, is littered in, in tinkering objects, which are perfect for a variety of metallic I'm sounds. I two chopsticks, and I go, ding, 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 ding. ding. I'm, I chopsticks. turn into a claymation puppet, and I'm doing For the my... base, I go into the shit tub, and I start slamming yeah. the seat <laughs> Why are you guys like, trashing yeah. my fucking house? What is, what is wrong with you people? <laughs> like a chimpanzee. Well, yeah, the worst Gita fucking noticing, people on earth. What? Noticing this musicality, it suddenly, you know, has a shift in character, like... I misjudged these guys, and he starts jamming oh my with God. you. And it's uh, and it's all off tune, and it sounds like shit. And, Jerry, uh, hit the vocals. It, no, it sounds like fucking. But it's raw. It's, it's raw. raw. It's you know, raw. it's Garage Band passion. And I start doing uh. that. I start doing that fucking thing like the, in SpongeBob where they go. Slap and shit. Slap. Yeah. Ambo. Yeah, yeah, Ambo. Ambo. They go. Ham boning could save your life someday. <laughs> yeah, you we know. We should get some doing scatting in here. Ham boning. And then we do that for about. Th Three and a half Should hours, and, and then uh, Harlow, oh. <laughs> uh, Harlow. Eventually, you know, after having a three-hour session of of musicking, Me? yeah, you. you oh, might I wanna... go, guys. Okay, yeah, yeah, my big idea. We should take this to a record label. We are really good. We should get <laughs> if this we published. We need a way to drum up some money. <laughs> yeah. hey, wait, I just thought of a way to get those rocks that are worth a lot of money. Then we can start a band. We can. We can, we can start right. a band. Harlow, I know I wasn't. I wasn't 100 straight with you off the start. I just honestly, I feel a little bad stealing this. But if somebody was going to put this there, I felt I could put it to better use. But if we're all going to come clean, I saw you take the gold. Me. And I'm not saying you need to use it on us, but if you were, maybe the record would be a good oh, idea. Oh, shit. You mean all this gold? And I pull out a big bag of gold with a big money sign on it. And it has a lot I'm of money. I'm going to give this to our record and in a trust fund for Pop Goblin. Uh, easily. easily. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's not a lot for the, the, you know, the world, but for, you know, a couple guys living in the slums of the city couple hundred gold but, in that side. Yeah, I mean, we all yeah, saw this, and you us? guys were like, this but, gold ain't worth no, not what we're looking for. You're the, you passed this up. You passed this up, Jet Cheetah. I mean, you want some now? And Jet, Jet shoots you a glance and a piercing gaze and says, what are you looking for, Harlow? Rocks. That power. <laughs> rocks. Power like, rocks. Oh. Yeah. Well, then you Infinity don't need the money, rocks. then I can have the money. I can keep it. Well, it would go a long way with me and Jet. Damn, like Did I don't you, not mean you're looking looking wait, 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 wait. This money can go for all I of us. I know of a place. Uh, you're n if you got the guts. This just has to do with, uh, is this like a music pun? Is it rock and roll stuff or is it actually geological rocks? What kind of musical pun? It's a cult. Uh, well, first, they call themselves the cult of hard rock. And no, there's no musical puns. That would be okay. badass though if it was a musical Cult boy. of hard rock. I see the direct. Okay, yeah, we should probably go there. <laughs> but first, we should probably publish an EP with all this gold. I don't know uh, uh, if if you've been outside the city much, Harlow. I would assume so. Yeah, I'm old, but I'm self conscious. Well, then maybe you're just getting you know a little senile. But cults around these parts are usually not the kind of people you want to be. I around. just saw the prompt. Uh, I don't remember Jet Cheetah talking in riddles and shit. Like. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> We've lived together uh, for five years, Jet uh, Why are you talking like this? It 
Something about that, that music that. takes me back to my roots. And he kind of strums like it's almost like a Spanish guitar, but it's still got that slappy bass. This, Wait, this reminds me. <laughs> this reminds me of a guy I talked to <laughs> when I was in prison. When you guys all left me and in prison, imprisoned. Um, he was. It was more like they threw you in the drunk tank. By the way, like you're he, Harlow's a fucking wow, dude. When it comes to just greasing stuff, he's a he's sleazy, but. That sliminess gets him out I of the I thought he like force choked like the guards and then he flew out of the roof of the fucking car. Yeah, that's a <laughs> and, like, cool, I thought like, that's what happened. That's <laughs> like, a good gift to the gab the said. Well, when he's not doing <laughs> that, though, he's also very. If you thought that was impressive, wait till you see him talk somebody over. Uh, guys, he told me about there's a the cult. They're mining rocks that have powerful properties, uh, and they can probably be. Used to manufacture JB's uh, most recent invention on a large but, scale. And then we could have enough money to put out. Sounds like you read that somewhere. I don't even. Read it from my mind library. Where'd you so hear I, this? I, there's a, like a guy in the drunk tank that was just in. He wasn't crazy, but he had some you, crazy notions. You're so saying that you... We gotta take your word for face value. The heist that we just went on... I mean, I can confirm. I've heard the same where thing. Where we but. broke into, like, a safety deposit box and stole a shitload of gold. They put you in the drunk tank and said, sleep it off. I, they're lax on crime here. What can you say? A bunch of liberal yahoos or something. They didn't, they didn't find the so gold to on To me, him. they would have put me in, in the Portland. gallows. It was in his prison pocket. That's why. You're Harlow getting none of this gold. It on the other guy in the, in the car or something, you know? But Harlow but, isn't telling us he's on the way to jail. He just fucking he's lightning fucking blew off yeah, the head yeah. of the driver. He, he sent me out on bail. Harlow's reputation is very mixed in the slums. Like, some people love him. Some people fear him. Some people loathe him. Oh. But, like, he is... he. He has like a certain position of power within these. I have a little bit of clout. Slums. He's got like slum the, clout. Yeah. No, I mean it's not great, but it's not nothing. You can think of uh, Cerulius as a as kind of a burrow. Okay. Okay. It's starting to, it's starting to sound like Zon now. It's starting to sound like Zon, and he's the guy with the eyeball. <laughs> what was it? Who's oh, Zon? You fucking uh, arcane! You ever see the arcane? Oh, like yeah. the, the dark yeah. shithole city, Zon. Yeah. It's starting yeah. to sound like Zon now, and he's like the. Wait, am I, what is that? The Victor or whatever? No, not Victor. Are above uh, ground still, um, uh, but at, you know the center of Drytopia is kind of a we can't the, the height of Baghdad, kind of you know just beautiful waters and sculptures and just filled to the art. But as you go further out to the edge of the city, it becomes more and more kind of hostile. It's like shit and piss everywhere. Mm. And and uh, the Cerulius area is kind of on the edge in between. It's not the worst of the worst, but it's a uh, city. It's not the the best. When people place. ask my address, I lie. It's, it's yeah, you say you say you're from yeah. downtown. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't. I, mean, I don't get know, specific. For, 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 for a couple yeah. of for a couple of young guys cutting their teeth, uh, it's not so bad. And then Harlow's kind of an old head. Do you got some roughness in him, guys? I made a shady deal or two in my life. I've got as I many like friends him. as I've got enemies. <laughs> but this I, one, I trust him. <laughs> trust me. Yeah. Okay. I, he's carried me like a baby up in the air several but also, times. And sucked your cock while floating. I mean, Norman, this guy, this no. <laughs> picked me up with his. He picked but, me up with his big, strong arms. You know, you got to respect somebody who's openly, like, hey, I am sometimes an asshole, but sometimes I'm it's doing the noble. right thing too. It's you know, like hey, they, there's no. Uh, you know, but yeah, also, he's transparent. Guys, if it goes wrong, it's more on Jet Cheetah because I learned this intel from a crazy guy and it's corroborated by Jet Cheetah. So, so he's but vouching also, for it. He's vouching Jet for it. I'm just kind of laying out. declared kind of like wizard brawn. I'm making a pre-excuse. I'm vouching for it, but I'm also telling you guys what I heard is it's a messy place, you know, like uh, back of a diaper. Not the kindest to outsiders, if you know what I mean. Oh, like little freakies? And I point it <laughs> I've, I've just heard that you know oh, <laughs> people going out there look look to join the cult like shrinkies and i look over at norman and then i kind of look away uh, and i say you know they don't really care who but i've heard they can just kind of take your mind and put you down in the mines Whoa. just what i heard but you know you hear a lot of stuff around these that bars kind of sus guys i actually have a huge void in my life and joining a cult seems like something that would fill it so i'm kind of all i have low self-esteem and i think a cult could kind of get me up on top 
I yeah, want I my want, political beliefs like that's... picked for me. <laughs> like the world's yeah. so complicated. Just tell me what to do. You know, I tell me be what extreme. to build. Extreme. I want to be extreme in any direction. Just point me. You know. This is the most complicated. That actually a hundred percent seems like something Norman would do. I think. <laughs> this is this is like Let's the most it. complicated. Yes, I've I mean, ever you're already heard. So following JB to, out of school uh, because he had an it's idea. decided we're gonna go Norman. to this place. What was this place called? Is it just called the Cult of Hard Rock? Or they... It's called Home for me already. Yeah. Where are they? Yeah, 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 I think it's Norman, uh, get your goddamn. I mean, <laughs> he's already fucking we should... the ties. We need already... to be careful with Norman around there. I'm pretty washed. I just heard the name of the cult. I'm already brainwashed. I love rock. I, even... I love hard. Or, <laughs> like... Say the name of the cult right now. Do you even remember? <laughs> hard Rock oh, Cafe. Hard Rock. Or or hard rock. Norman to say it. <laughs> Uh, it's actually the hard rock it's a cult fade. It's casino cult. It sounds awesome. <laughs> <Is> they <it? laughs> got music. <laughs> they got, yeah, is they, there live music in this cult, or is this kind of a? They just I played mean, over the speakers. I they're now. actually owned by one of the larger. Holy shit, uh, Jet, You know, like a lot of us. <laughs> native <laughs> tribes. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Jet, are you like setting us you're up for a trap like, or something? You're recruiting. Yeah. Is there a quota you have to meet, Jet? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Wait. How long All have right. you known this guy, Jerry? Five years. I told. I said this earlier. Five, five years. We've been years. living five together years. five years. You've been sharing a bent, a bunk for five fucking years. Uh, I'm still confused. Are you guys in the same bed of the bunk bed? No, it's. I get. Oh. No. He gets top bunk. He gets top. Oh, okay. okay. I, get I get top. top. No, we so both. You guys we both, we, we both get top. Okay. I, I we just accidentally admitted that we sleep there. together. Yeah, uh, okay, wait, 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 so, we, we, we didn't oh, rehearse okay. this. And I so look we, around, I'm like, <laughs> eight? What's going on here? Should we? It gets cold. Yeah. It gets it's, cold. It's, we don't got heating. Yeah, you telling me? <laughs> come on, nighttime heat? in Drytopia. A heater? I, le I sit down you on the they, bottom bunk. They, I go, well, this mattress feels like it's never been used. It's got wrapper on it. It's still got the plastic shit on it. Yeah. And then the the top bunk is just a huge top dent. one's ragged out. <laughs> yeah, warm and it's economical. The bottom bunk has been converted into a turtle farm. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> it all circles back. <laughs> it's like, there's actually a big drape and we jerk off there. So that's actually we had to, to make a new room. Uh, uh, yeah, I peer. Uh, <laughs> the, the drape cuts between the top uh, bunk. Ew. It's oh, like okay. uh, half and half. Wow. It's totally private. Okay. Anyway. I want to get out of this <laughs> yeah, let's, freaky yeah. place and let's go check, join a cult. Let's check this place out, fellas. Let's skedaddle. Let's hold get on, out of here. We'll call an Uber or something. Let's I don't go. want to just like Wait, sit they, out on a... Uber doesn't exist in this world. What, are we, gonna, what are we going to... city what's sucks. What's the plan when we get there? We should, uh, you know, find out when we get there. There has to be new recruits. I, I assume you just walk <laughs> up and go like, hey, I heard you guys are like, uh, you know, you all have like whatever they have on. I'm not trying to get my brain wiped and end up in the mind mind oh yeah that's a good point what if i put never mind Don't i'm gonna have some sort of my, wizardry? come on harlow harlow i guess you... i could put on mind defense on each of us uh with my wizardry it puts an impervious that mind shield be able to protect us but wow. i can only use it on two other people <laughs> just to add drama to the scene <laughs> well that's fine because I made this yeah, Magneto yeah. helmet that's oh, out of shit. lead perfectly I that <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Tinker helmet <laughs> and Harlow is still like your your thoughts and stuff are very coherent and you're good to go but there is definitely a mental tax on, on using this magic just take a nap we should, in this place. we should go to the candy store and get you peppermint. It helps with your mind. Bunk. You guys can take the bottom if you want. Giant yeah. and I will take the bottom bunk. Well, let's just take a long rest. Man, hey, you guys are already my... on, a, on nickname basis. You call them giant now? Fuck. That'll it's happen. Like, <laughs> what the fuck know. happened in there? Well, at what time should we head out to this place? Or should we go at night or in the morning? Um, Jerry. Right and early. Jerry, what do you think? Right and early. Right That's and when early? everyone's active. Yeah. The cults love people that show up early. On time. Go getter mentality. Find oh out God. the the recruiter, and uh, you know, see what. See Maybe what see got. if anyone wants to get a referral bonus. Ooh, also, a cult recruiter. I bet you it's probably in like a strip mall somewhere, and probably. they'll probably give us a sign up bonus and stuff if we come in. If I go in if and say like, like if I get code? my three friends to also join, yeah. do I get a sign up bonus? And then we can split you get an it iPod. You get a free fucking iPod if you can get three friends to sign Dude, up. Guys, iPod, huh? Well, it's the I, one I paid. I paid. Well, we could have alternating. We each get one earbud. <laughs> <And then laughs> we, we do 
alternating Wednesdays or whatever. I don't you know. Could, if we get one, then Jerry can reverse engineer it and make us all iPods. Turn it into a speaker. <laughs> yeah, or turn it into a speaker. <laughs> yeah, that's lame. No, I like reverse engineering it and For, making, make, making four iPods. Yeah. yeah. All right. Holy yeah, shit. I'll make four, four iPods. You work if on those. There. I'll install the suicide net out your apartment window. <laughs> It's rough making those things. I've heard. I've heard that. Yeah. <laughs> Rumor is. But I, I stay away from Apple products in general. I don't. I don't make those. Oh, fuck. And Jet looks to Harlem and asks, "So why are you looking at me?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever happen to hear what they look like? What? What do they look like? The cult. The cult people. Well, I'm yeah. guessing I, I can't just walk in like this and he looks down and he's got a sweet leather vest and uh, some kind of really tight uh, leather pants. You can see his bulge. I'm pretty sure. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> pretty sure. <laughs> and just kind of it in sewn on different parts is kind of exotic animal pelt. Uh, I don't recall exactly, but I know there's a curved shoe element. <laughs> you have a curved Um... <laughs> Oh, I believe shoe. I'm okay. getting I'm using my mind power. I'm getting curved shoe getting big Mexican shoes <laughs> uh, Big pointy boot big gold uh, genie like shoes boot. you think maybe <laughs> yeah. with a curve on the top Imagine. I mean what uh what? what do we have to make something like that? Looks like it was a cowboy boot made of glass and the room the room is like filled it. with different like objects and things you could take apart There's definitely... a bag of gold right here for the gold. Yeah. I I go. Hey guys. Uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm not exactly great at social stuff. I'm not a great communicator. Yeah, I'm self-conscious. I, I think I think Jet really wants us to make some cult make outfits some before we leave. <laughs> he really wants us to be like... We don't have to. I was just thinking we're going to go in there. I'm okay with Jerry going in without one. Just Do you see know what, what happens I'm saying? used to like walk up to like the army recruiter already yeah. dressed up in the <laughs> <laughs> We're not infiltrating. Like we gotta. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess, well, are we like, going as an infiltration no, or a recruiter? About, I wanted to go in there with something. Prepared. That's all. It's called okay. having a backup I trust, plan. I don't know you guys you as shit. well, but a friend, uh, a friend of a friend's. If if you guys shoot from the hip like that, I trust JB. By me. What? All right. That's why I'm here. JB, so vouch for radical. us. Vouch for who? You two, you us. fucking yeah, assholes that start tearing up my room assholes. and playing assholes. bongos on my fucking assholes. toilet you seat. You make me music bitch. with your well, toilet seat and then, jingling your precious fucking, things. <laughs> what the hell is that? What is that? Put that fucking, those fucking hands away. I'm going to grab them. I'm going to grab them and slap them with them. his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm interrupting too much. I'm going to try not to talk at all for this next scene. I'm just going to be a practice and restraint. Honestly, it's just fuck it, you know? Free ball it. Okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun. And we're back. Oh, we're back. Yeah, okay. yeah. We find ourselves now approaching the cold of hard rock. And from where you are, a bit in the distance, you do see that it's an oasis. And it appears that someone is filling the oasis by making it rain. The area around the oasis itself is unnaturally rocky, considering the desert landscape. And there's a large jutting cave that seems somehow man-made. It's too smooth, but it's made out of stone. And it's very odd, uh, but it's massive. And it's kind of at the edge of the oasis itself. I'll hand you to Jerry Beetleman. Is this the spot? <laughs> Looks like it. Huh? <laughs> couple of, <laughs> couple uh, of I, fucking freaks doing magic? Is this what you were uh, describing, uh, Harlow? Wait. Or Jet? Uh, Jet, you knew you, you heard about your, rumors. Check your rock g g gizmometer. See if you're getting any readings. Oh, yeah, this is a big... Yeah, you know what? You're, you are the brains... I'm talking to you, Sam. I can't remember oh, you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I pull my rock <laughs> finder and I, I polish it like it's an apple. And I go, oh, just kidding, because that's a callback to 20 minutes ago or whatever. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I fucking boop, 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 by the way. And yeah. as the device turns on, it immediately begins giving a strong signal from the direction directly in front of you. And 
anywhere you aim it, it it's it's there's rocks charts. here, guys. Big rock detection. There's clearly big magic some rocks. Sort of saying, power big huge did. magic rocks. Uh, let me check the back of this thing. See. Yeah, big magic <laughs> rocks. <laughs> <detection. Huge. laughs> okay. Oh, I think I think we found the spot, boys. Nice. Um, Let's okay, think of a plan so... of attack here. But, First of all, I wanted but, to join this cult and everything, and I was hoping it would be more like kind of like more of a techie cult, but these guys are like wearing like loincloths and stuff. Uh, oh, no, no. You said this is your home <laughs> and your family. Your land, You're going to have to yeah. leave behind yeah, all your material like, possessions. Looks like they're digging ditches. Like, I really was kind of hoping for Let's more. Let's not judge a book by their cover, Norm. Okay. Yeah. People would no, think you're either. stupid because you look different, Norm. So it's not, <laughs> and you're not, though. <laughs> so. yeah. And the cultists are, are, are very single mindedly engaged. There's ones going down into the mine and then loading things up into some kind of storage house. And again, there's these long shoed fellows who seem to be doing kind of bits of magic here and there and kind of ordering the rest around. Do you notice that those guys with the freaky shoes? I mean, they seem to be calling the shots here. Oh, with those Some freaky, sort of funny officers. shoes. Yeah. You know that. Uh, yeah, I'm also perceptive, but I'm a little self-conscious. <laughs> I well, start that's only, it's only when, my it's mind, only when your eye gets all out. fucking wonky. You're not, you're, you're pretty normal. <laughs> do any of you, do any of you want to try to take like a, a, you know, closer look, like really a roll for Oh, yeah, yeah hold Gita, on. Go check oh, shit, let's zone, roll. <laughs> I would say maybe you're 100 to 200 meters away. Okay, let's uh, let's do the dune dancing walk up the uh, the Fremen walk up the dune Whoa. to the crest, okay. and then we'll poke our little eyes over. And did you say glass eye? Yeah, I have a spyglass. Did oh. you bring enough for the whole class? I thought you meant glass eye that could replace <laughs> a regular eye that we're not up to. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't bring this. I made it while you guys were talking. I took some of the sand Whoa. in this Bunsen burner, and I melted it down and created lenses... And then I have a paper towel tube, and I put it in there. Here you go, and I pass you an ornate. By the way, I, my CNC machine, I actually used to do the engraving here on this part of the you put our uh, names on it? Yeah, they're customized. It, it, yeah, wait, wait let's, let's give is, a team name. What's, what's our team name? Oh, the the magnification on it, I think, even adjustable. I made binoculars for uh, Harlow, and one of the eyes is here, and then the other one's, like, down a little bit lower, so he can just concentrate on staring and not on trying to fix his lazy eye there you go that is so thoughtful of you I agree. <laughs> and then and then i don't regret Jen, having you Jen, i just give him a, a paper school. towel tube <laughs> I go, look, at that. <laughs> look at that you weird motherfucker with an inverted magnifying <laughs> no, glass no. That actually and, and, his and, eye. and you know you put a little bit of charcoal on the tip that way when he puts it up to his eye and jack gives a good a Takes good laugh down. and gives you a, a little like not not an art gives you like good smack on the back and he's like you're all right <laughs> Mr. Yellow, as he, he gives you well, a wink, because you guys know each other's names. Uh, like right? I was saying, though, you put a little bit of charcoal on the end of it. So yeah. he's got, he's, now he's got a black circle around his <laughs> eye like a pirate. But he, he's, he's, and he's warming up he to you. Like, he doesn't know. No, he doesn't know. But if he did find out, he'd think it was oh, funny. No. So he's got a big spot on his eye now? Yeah. Like now a I feel bad. <laughs> My, yeah, you feel bad. So you're there, 100 to 200 meters out, staring through a finely... Finely crafted, four to eight times magnification. Wow, holy shit, this is uh, impressive. Mon not monocular, I guess that's almost the right word, but telescope that has been produced by Mr. Yellow. And as you peer through, you definitely notice a, a stark contrast between those that are working, and as you pictured and figured before, it's a bunch of loincloth, heavy, brawny kind of folk who are working feverishly to get these stones up as they're just possessed. Uh, meanwhile, they're kind of brightly robed uh, figures with masks on and long shoes who seem to be doing most of the dictating. And you can't quite tell if they're powerful or not. Uh, as I, you saw before, there was one who was summoning water into the oasis. Uh, but another one was summoning a massive storm only to produce a very tiny bolt of lightning, which he appears to have lit a pipe with. That seems really dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, call down lightning to um, eviscerate this mm. fucking to bullet in my It seemed in very my taxing, too. Like, as you were watching me, you thought, oh my gosh, what is this dude about to do? And then, basically, before he, you know, practically dropped to a knee from the strain, a small cloud appeared and a brief 
of lightning shot down and ignite his oh, pipe. Oh, okay. I thought like actual pipe. lightning. I was the like, he's just sitting there smoking with his ears bleeding. Oh, it was like, real yeah, lightning, so baby. Loud. It was real lightning. <laughs> but you get an idea that summoning big natural lightning must be a hell of a feat if this person was almost, you know, dropped to a knee to light their pipe. Okay, uh, so that guy's weak. Let's go fucking strangle mm -hmm. him. <laughs> To steal his pipe, smoke it, of course, and then take his clothing. <laughs> so whatever the hell he's, I'll, I'll yeah. have what he's having. You know? yeah. <laughs> it must be really well, good. what we can do is we can mm. fashion a couple pipes and be like, hey, guy, you got a light? And maybe we can <laughs> fatigue him so he takes a nap or something. <laughs> then we club him over the head. Yeah, get us some That's lightning to light these things. I saw what you did. <laughs> oh, so, uh, do you guys want to infiltrate Oh, wait, wait, in, wait. Make him wanna... Norman. Make a metal pipe and be like, I've got the best thing for you to smoke. And then when he lightnings it, it will Whoa. electrocute him. Whoa. Because it's put water in it. Yeah. I'm not. I'm self conscious. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well. <laughs> that's okay. okay. We got some good ideas. First, we need to we need to figure out how to get oh. to him. Yeah. Arlo, you don't got to be so hard on yourself, buddy. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you. I've got a freak eye, and I can't help it. No. <laughs> it's all, it gets all crazy when I use I'll my magic. I'll never tell. Harlo, everyone knew. Oh, <laughs> It's all right. We saw it. We were just waiting for you to come yeah. out. Wow. It's okay. I tell it to oh, stop looking it. at me. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just I looking at like you. Why is it only in on one yeah. way, yeah. but that eye's making it eye contact It only looks at Norman. <laughs> it only looks at Norman. I don't like how it follows me. It's like me. a painting. <laughs> it's... it's <laughs> He has no control. M Mr. Yellow, just think of it as he's keeping an eye on everything. Oh, yeah. Keep, keep an eye on that troublemaker. Well, I got you a present, Harlow. Oh, right. Um, for, oh. No, he, he just, you. I feel like we kind of abandoned you at the... Uh, I kind of feel bank. that way, too. And I feel like this is something to make amends. I don't feel it. And I give, I give it to you. It's a box, a little box. Okay, I go... Wow, this is actually it's the an first eye present. Put it oh. on. <laughs> it's an eye. <laughs> it's a, you might want to cover that <laughs> thing up. It's, <laughs> it's freaking us the fuck out. <laughs> cover up that grotesque eye of yours. All right, guys, let's focus on the cult here. <laughs> How do we get into the camp? <laughs> and no, I immediately rotate. Gone. And I keep turning. <laughs> and I go, Harlow, put that thing on and let's get We got work to do. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to focus. You after forget yourself. That eye. <laughs> and I use my mind flown on it. No, but I definitely I don't take that lightly, and I'm gonna Midget remember flea. that. Yeah. Oh, Listen, you... I for one second started to actually feel comfortable in my own skin before this <laughs> gift when you guys all said you knew and it wasn't a big deal. I, I'm okay, and I won't use magic to hold it back. Yeah. And I'm one. Why don't I send Norman over? I want I levitate him over there to those guards. <laughs> And uh, he can check it out over there, and he can, um, you know, knock the guard out. I the, moved, pa the, the I've moved past guy. it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can float him over there. He's the sneakiest. They do call these him Norman. People the are notoriously sneaky. Um, Who need these people? <laughs> I have no a feeling, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I'm not like once again not a social guy. I don't really pick up on social cues. Well, but I don't pick up on it. I have a feeling Arlo's about to tear me limb from limb while he <laughs> levitates me. He's gonna pick me up by my sack uh, or something. He wants to. You don't want to. You don't want to go. You don't. <laughs> no, I'll go. But if I start screaming, you'll know why. Karate chop him in the neck or something. Wait, wait, <laughs> Break so his concentration. What, what's the scene here? We're like on a ledge, and they're like. And this we're at the little, backside of a we're dune. We're looking at a yeah. Dune. We're on the backside of a dune. We did kind the of walk and everything. Laying oh, down or standing behind it, um, and we can see over the opposite side of a dune, sure. approximately <laughs> uh, like a football field or more, a little bit more away, is what appears to be the main base camp of this place, surrounded by strange rocks and rock huts that seem. Uh, and there we got power. But unnaturally put together, it's as though they were somehow smoothly carved out of stones, but there were no stones in the area, so... Kind of like, like the way of kings. It's like somebody just kind of brought them into existence. Mm, magic. Stone kind genesis. of like the, the, ma <laughs> the magicians in Way of Kings, they use the, the stones to create things. It's kind of, okay. it's kind of, of like kings. this... Way Kings, it's a Brandon Sanderson book series. Uh, but they use they use magic that from these creatures that they harvest out these for these rocks from basically, and then they use spellcasters to create things out of transmogification. 
This is a book I'm writing. My name, my my <laughs> <laughs> real name. Is, Arlo. You should read Way of Kings and put more Earth things in there <laughs> for me from those. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I take back my plan of levitating uh, him over there because no, I thought could, there's a could, ledge. <laughs> you could levitate me down and I could pick one up by the neck or something and you levitate me back. Oh. And Don't you I'm have some sure. sort of like just, yeah, just snap his neck. Up, like a <laughs> device that like kills people or something or like a death ray? Uh, yeah, hold, hold on a second. This is called an AR-15. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, made it myself. I, yeah, while we were talking, I went through 14 other iterations. This is the 15th one. <laughs> yeah, shark. With, What's the AR stand for? Um, assault rifle. Yes, yeah, assault <laughs> rifle number 15. Yes, yeah, assault rifle 15. Big what does it actually clips. stand for? Armalite. Oh. Is it actually that you fucking dork? You would know that. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Yeah. I only know about, like, black powder bombs and stuff because I watched yeah. Deadliest Warrior. I don't really oh, know. Oh, dude, I love Deadliest shit. Warrior. Yeah, I know more yeah. about blade. Blade <laughs> combat. <laughs> like a pirate Epes, sword foils, and shit. Like, sabers, yeah. that kind of thing. I really, I would love to have a ballistic gel dummy. I would have Duh. sex with it and I'd kill yeah. it. I'd love to make a video where it's just like, how many bites does it take to behead someone? <laughs> it's, I made a ballistic uh, thing. <laughs> like a gelatin <laughs> one or something? It's made out of, it's yeah. made out of I got to the spine. It sort of <laughs> yeah. shattered my teeth. <laughs> Oh. You need one that's non-toxic, and you need to see how long it would take you to fully cannibalize a person <laughs> raw. Oh. Make them Obviously, out of the jello. variables aren't in place. Yeah, uh, hey, you would fucking of, die. Uh, you'd... <laughs> no, no, you do jelly. You do jelly, and then you do tendons and stuff out of like uh, Slim Jims. Uh, Twizzlers. Beef jerky. Uh, it would take you like weeks to eat it. Not me. Would it? Well, yeah. We'll be, the, well, it, unless you want to be like that lady eating, who died I mean, trying to get a like, Nintendo like, Wii. If she drank too much Hannibal water. Lecter coming... style. I'm not doing it out of leisure. I'm doing it to hide a body. So I'm like, oh shit, the cops are coming. I'm taking Get scoops it. out of the stomach. Yeah. Okay. We can model yeah, it but, after somebody but... we hate or some shit too. Well, that was an awesome <laughs> little group writing sesh, guys. Let's get back to <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, how about this? You made those you made those goggles or you made those tele telescopes pretty quick. Why can't you make me some of them shoes right there? That was well, Norman, well, crazy. Well, I'm talking to Norman. I, I'm looking at Norman, but you oh, can't sorry. tell. Okay, it looks at Norman. Norman, why don't you make I, I was on the other side down of, uh... yonder? And I point directly at the fucking pipe smoker. And oh, he, you, and his... you think I can just fabricate shit at the backside of a dune? Like, I, why didn't you tell me to do this while we were at, back at the apartment? You, had a you made telescopes. Workshop. You just made what? glass. Yeah, <laughs> you created glass out of right. what, what if I gave you my wizard and, robes and you used those? I don't want to be the one to say I told you so, but okay. Jet. And then I kind of just you know, jet looks uh, off. Jet and Jerry, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I will make you guys shoes. I, I am not making uh, him shoes. <laughs> he can fuck off and go steal some. <laughs> He could be the goddamn uh, Latin boy. Yeah, yeah. And then Bizzle left, and he wrote, Jen's the coolest, and he sent it to Sam, and he said, you have to act like he's cool. Yeah. Whoa, he's so badass. Like he's so badass and cool. Yeah. I know you Whoa. want me to think he's cool. That's why I'm adamant yeah. that he's not. He <laughs> he's looks a dork cool. out of spite. He's, he's no, you know. But Jen's was really cool, and, it, and the audience believed it, and he, yeah. he didn't sound he's like. like drive cool that at this point. He's yeah, he's become right. Drive cool Gosling. only works if you're well, like a woman. The scorpion okay, okay, jacket. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and as you peered over the dunes, you got a clear image of what was going on. And something about the shoes did stick out because the only people using any sort of, for lack of better term, magic were wearing them. But other than that, there weren't too many distinguishing features. You might be able to get away with wearing a loincloth, you think. But perhaps if you're trying to deal with somebody of this higher station... The shoes wouldn't be a bad idea. Hey, if the shoe fits. Did Jet say that, or was that Norman's <laughs> internal? No, no. <laughs> this, this is this is the dungeon master. Uh, no, that was omnipotent my inner voice monologue saying. inside Norman. Yeah, 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 we are all independently. Yeah, thinking we're trying that. to convince. We're trying to convince <laughs> Norman you all to make the shoes. Felt this and heard this in your own vernacular. Oh, okay. Whatever your internal monologue would have said. Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually non-verbal autistic. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, while we were talking and <laughs> sucking each other's dicks, I actually, yeah. uh, at, you, if you, like you, might, you guys might have felt it. A hand come up, grab your ankle, measure it with my foot that I built. 
It was it was thanks. It was it was just Cheetah was feeling yeah. thanks for yeah. you know. Yeah. I did a three D render scan of your foot and I've made these ergonomic <laughs> those little metal foot measures from Foot Locker and shit. No, nah, that's too How low did you tech. Make them? Too oh. low tech. Yeah. Uh, How did you manufacture them? <clears throat> well, I hate I those made things. The... They make me feel bad. <clears throat> I... Could you describe the process of what making the shoes? Just like at a, a very ambiguous level, like what tool? What object? How, Shoemaker. How yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so I Is have some... Is she to steal it? No, uh, you, my From backpack... my workshop? <laughs> my backpack with all this, uh, all my gizmos and gadgets. Did you, did you add on to his current it. shoes or... I, I, I took okay. the rawhide leather and I put your foot down on it. And then like a child, I traced your foot to get the general base, the sole of the shoe. And then I cut that out with... Uh, mm. I brought my X-Acto knife, you know. Don't go anywhere without that. And uh, and I, Jet Cheetah looks over and he says, Norm, I don't get what you're doing here, man. You could be working over in Serpulon's Rise. Oh. Uh, they don't have great health care or dental, so I, I don't work there. I, I cool. put on my goddamn pointy shoes and I'm walking down the dune into the <laughs> He's already, he already left. He's sliding yeah. down the dune. I'm, tr <laughs> I'm trudging down the fucking dune. And I follow. <laughs> And I, I'm Fuck. just like I just want. Like, I'm just gonna look at Jedi and say, "Dude, these let's guys just... down the hill look more normal than the people I came here with." <laughs> <laughs> these guys are weird. Me, the they fuck look out. empty inside. Wait, they look do empty. Do you want to get on my shoulders and we can wear a big trench coat and we can look like one like eight foot tall guy? <laughs> hey, Mister <Spit> Red. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. As you guys walk ahead, I I pull him to the side. Do you want me to Devin? <laughs> JC. I, I, no, no, no. I'm I'm just saying. Oh, JC. This is the last time, bro. All right. Last time for what? I'm not doing this again. Man. I appreciate the help. I, knew I, know. You know, I know. I know. I know how you roomies, feel about this whole we've thing. We've been friends. I know, you, I know. But it's, uh, you know, I'm out here trying to boost morale, a little spree de corps, you know? But you got to stop. Uh, what's what's the resistance? <laughs> you, f you apparently fingered his ass or mm -hmm. something while he was trying to make his shoes. I Are we not Cerulean's? You know, I I thought he was a Cerulean, but he's you know he's not a local. I, I he's, think he's acting just... like I'm the weird one. I'm just trying to let him know we're ready. Oh, write that down, Sam. We can have sex with Brian's character all the time what, now. What? It's I canonical. Mean, it wasn't not implied when I fucking whip out my <laughs> cock for you. <laughs> when the no, canonical. This guy him. likes getting what I thought. <laughs> and 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 JC looks at you, holds up a hand. Gestures towards Jesus shoving Christ. a finger into his and then butt, I, I, and then looks at, looks at you and says, "You know what I'm saying?" And then I shove the, my finger in my asshole and I whip it out, and then uh, we touch fingers. And I go, "Hey, keep it stinky." We do the keep finger it, touch. Keep it stinky, brother. Yeah, keep it stinky. Keep it stinky. Uh, Listen, that's how Cerulean Let's just, fuck it. Let's, just let's just you know what? Let's do our own thing. Let all right, him, all right, let all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I told you. I told you. I trust you. I'm just saying. You know, keep your head on a swivel. And over where we're at, we've worked out a plan where, yeah, he did get on my shoulders, but he went on it the other way around. <laughs> do. So my face is in his crotch, and I'm and... walking backwards with my arms <laughs> twisted. What, what the fuck? And I'm wearing the backward shoes Brian made. That way someone can oh, yeah, use right. them. Yo, Wait, no, you, no, no, no. It out makes it your, easier. Out of your armholes in your jacket, I have my feet. And so it's, just, <laughs> it's just like a I freak. grab things with my toes. Yeah, we have, we're feet and feet. Feet and two sets so of legs. legs. Wait, like, he's facing one he's way. He's facing the right like, way. Swing dancing, straddled him with your his arms legs through his legs. are down sleeves. here, and his crotch is right here. <laughs> and he's looking that okay, way. So he's, like, he's doing like a Hurricane Rana, but he's not yeah. finishing. And I'm doing straight leg and arm. That way it looks normal, kind of. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but my arms are tucked you're, into my pants. You should make a you're roll like for that a shit. modified <laughs> beast with two backs. Yes, and we're using the backward shoes that way. And me and Jed are watching this. We're just like. And while okay. we were making the trench coat, I also fashioned some chastity belts for me and uh, oh. Harlow here, so that if someone tries fingering our assholes as a little cigar yeah. cutter, and it'll take off the fucking finger. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what did you have the time to make that? Yeah, you just, got just, just something you, you, I randomly... You, I just got inspired just, to make. You made, you made it events. while you were on his back? <laughs> I made a saw like Norm, Norman just my happened asshole. to be carrying two uh, cod pieces. And, you know, as a, yeah, everybody knows Norman loves a good cigar, so it makes sense that he would be able to engineer 
cigar, cigar ring. A cigar cutter yeah. into it. And he always keeps a spare, so having two is an unheard of. And what you'll do it during the when you and GB are talking, you hear in the background hammering on an anvil. Hmm. What is this steaming pile of garbage? It doesn't make any sense. Is the webcam damaged? Hmm. Or is it their battered brains whipped to a meringue-like state by the ever-churning waves of the deep? Oh, wait a second. This is my mind, isn't it? Hmm. No matter. Okay, and then, I know. Come on, guys. Why don't we all go in together? <coughs> Like holding I, hands in a circle. I wish I grim a worm tongue things for Sam to say since my <laughs> mouth is in the coat. Oh, yeah. So you just uh, say it up my belly. Yeah. <laughs> Tell yeah. them we should all go in together. <laughs> just, I've I've fabricated some sort of hearing horn that goes whoa. straight down my <laughs> belly, and so you can whisper it. It just travels up to my ear. I figured it'd just be two cans and a string. <laughs> yes. I don't like, yeah. Yeah. Pulled yeah. really yeah. tight between my yeah. fucking crotch yeah. and my ear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's flossing. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Hey, let's. Uh, you guys catch up or whatever. Let's go be a part of this cult. Or wait, no, we're already a part of it. Let's go back we, to our cult, guys. Come on. Yeah, yeah let's we go to the. Took a we smoke totally break. belong. Yeah, and then I, I whisper, I say, legs, slow down, down there. We gotta wait up <laughs> for him. You're shifting too fast. Yeah, you're uh, walking too fast. Take it down a gear. And then I take it down a gear. <laughs> Is that a good role play? And then yeah. I'm down. Yeah, you yeah. take <laughs> I'm walking. Are, are your feet right. sore yet? And, you got uh, those flat feet, those Harlow flat feet. <laughs> hey, How I'm, far is this fucking walk, by like the way? It's like 25 this, feet. This is, <laughs> it, well, you know, one to 200 meters through sand, but it's on a downhill and it's going into the oasis. Um, all right, you guys well, were, you know, pretty far ahead while we were sitting there giving ourselves the Cerulean handshake. We'll just walk like normal fucking people. I don't know. We don't need yep. this. No, I'm sorry show. I keep yawning. It's not because you're boring me, Brian. It's just because. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That guy, I never, that didn't even, that thought didn't even cross my head. Yeah. Well, good, because that's not what it is. <laughs> I'm just tired, dude. It's the beer. It's like. It's like sorry. the sleepy beer. Yeah. It's, All right. It's not because so, <laughs> you suck and I'm bored. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you guys are in there and. And I'm walking backwards. You know, there are. These people aren't. Uh, they're not brainwashed or anything. They, they acknowledge you, but they're very focused on the task at hand and they kind of give you a glance and they're, they're continuing about their daily motions of going into the mine, exiting the mine, unloading these orange and black stones, returning to the mine. And again, the other long shoot individuals, which there are a handful of, Yes, which is similar to the sludge uh, that, that mm. poured out. But this is a, a much more concrete form, and the orange appears, perhaps because it's in the daytime, but much more vibrant mm. across the stones. And you see them loading it up, and a, occasionally one of the long shoed uh, individuals will go up, kind of inspect and touch, and maybe generate a cloud or a bit of fire here or there. It, it, it seems clear that these stones do have some kind of innate power they're able to harness. I pull on my dick and ear <laughs> can and I whisper, I go, Oh, fuck! These stones! <laughs> I see a lot of stones around here that look an awful lot like that weird sludge I got wrapped up in yesterday. Wait, wait, maybe we should switch so I can <laughs> see and confirm if they're real or not. Maybe we should go behind a tent and I'll get on your shoulders. Making... Yeah. Make note that you have a tiny head because of a genetic reason. It's not weird that your head's so tiny for your body. Make sure to make note of that. Attention, all acolytes <laughs> in the area. <laughs> good, good. I know you've taken notice of my small cranium. It's because of a genetic it. defect. Not and my be feet hands. Not because I might be a dwarf and an old wizard stacked on top of each other. I thought you were a gnome. <laughs> 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 Get this yeah. dwarf dick out of my face. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> and and there is a great halting of the line mm. that takes acknowledgement of you. And you see behind the mask, you can't tell. But based on the posture, there's kind of a threatening look of disdain from the other long shoot individuals as though, who the fuck is this? Oh. Uh, meanwhile, the ones in loincloth stare eagerly in anticipation as though something is about Come to Come over happen. here and find out, bitch. Yeah. 
You can find out who the fuck we are. Are they looking at us weird? I can't my, see them. My dick says. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, that's my dick. It has a little bit of an attitude. Yeah. But if you don't get back to work, I'm going to harness lightning above your head. Do you have a mask at all or are you bare face? Oh, shit. I, I look at the pointy other pointy shoe guys. Do they have masks? Yes, you did notice oh, that uh, men, many of them are wearing masks. There, there's no. Um, do they look? What do they look continuity like? Continuity or, or various shapes. They're very crude. You see eye holes, and the shape of the face itself is just kind of wild. Uh, do they kind of look like it, what material? Like woolly? Like hairy? Almost no. Almost made out of stone. Give like you a mask. Pubes, of them are very. But... Are, are very uh, Harry? rough, sharp. <laughs> like, Can I take uh, my chastity belt off and put oh, it over my head? You, wait, no, no, use mine. <laughs> <laughs> you want to leave your asshole unguarded? You do yeah. think perhaps if you use both of the chastity belts and open uh, the slots of the eyes. Whole slots, of course. Of yeah. course, yeah, Jen yeah. Yeah. character wants at, us at, to at take great both. risk of pink eye, you may be able to have, because the one consistency you know, aside from the shoes, is the masks all seem different and you're not sure if that's a status thing mm. or what it means but they all have both eye holes visible and the rest is just kind of well, okay s since both you know, of our arms are technically, as wild as the stone itself both of our sets of arms are free in the trench coat to do as they please because your legs are out the thing so we yeah. the quickly, belly is just yeah yeah, 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 crazy. yeah, yeah. Just all the all the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they can just hear it they just hear it going on the reaction of the ones in loincloth upon seeing you they're starstruck almost in a way you're huge compared to the other long-shoed fellows <laughs> You get the idea that the <laughs> loincloth individuals, their allegiance may be easily swayed by a, some sort of power structure. Mm. There is clearly a hierarchy at play mm. here, and you Wait. are a bigger and badder looking one of these long shoed people right now. Uh, okay, Norman, so make, a, on... make a spectacle once you put your mask on. I'll levitate us a little into the air. I'm, uh, I, I put on the chastity belt, and my eyes are peering through ooh, the I cigar forgot my cutter anarchy asshole. Symbol. Yeah, oops. Yeah, I forgot. Forgot. And neither of my anarchies. <laughs> <laughs> I look through the butthole fingering uh, cigar wow. cutter things, and I and I I put on the mask. I go, sorry, I forgot my mask. By Donnie the way, Darko I just want to I just want to state that I'm the top dog in this fucking camp. And, and, whoa. Yeah. and you're still far enough away from most of them that over the clattering of the mining and and kind of the whipping of the sands, they can't really hear. But <laughs> <laughs> to, to to your benefit, they also didn't see your face at all. All they saw was kind of a shrouded, massive figure oh, okay. coming upon the dune. And now you fly on angels' wings, <laughs> yes. and you put out your uh, arms, <laughs> and I go ah. And I fly him over. It looks like he's on a wire. It looks like he's being held on a theater wire above the camp, and then he's kind of going back a little, swinging, and then Harlow to accomplish this, you're going to levitate both of you. Yes. Yeah. I mean, he weighs what forty pounds soaking wet. Harlow must imagine. That's fucked up. A happy moment, a positive moment of Harlow's life. I remember when I felt like a little school, you know, I felt like well, school girl might be a really, really inappropriate uh, <laughs> comparison. I was going to say, I just felt like a... I'm the editor of okay, Stalkcutter. Stalk Stalk when I, when hey, Harlow's not oh, a point you don't think about little school girls. I was going to talk about that's the hallway what, scene, that's not but what that's nothing to do with <laughs> school girl. I just say I felt like flutters. The well, last time I felt airy and light <laughs> was when I lifted up. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I felt I was the schoolgirl, and the gnome was an old man shaped like a little girl. <laughs> Let me restart. The last time I felt this good, I felt like um, an awesome, like a guy that found someone for him uh, in the hallway the outside Jerry's apartment. When I lifted him up to the door thing to put his ass What's to it, what's my I went, name? <laughs> His name is Norman the Giant. Norm. Okay. And, I, and I forget it a lot, but um, it's like the Green Goblin. But I can't forget the feelings. Yeah. The feel, yeah. <laughs> trench coat has a boner on the back of it. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> What's sticking it's on his back? Yes. A small, a small price yes. to pay 
for the power of the magic I, that Harlow was able to summon. I float over everybody. I say, <laughs> forgive my primordial tail. <laughs> yeah. My little stubby. I was born with but, that. It's simply a birth defect. And you have a robe on, yeah. right? Like, they don't know that you're two people. No. 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 Not yet, you know. I think, like, okay. if they were of average a, intelligence, <laughs> probably be able to figure it out. Okay, while we're flying around, Jerry and Chet take the scene. Maybe you guys could figure out, like, what's the average work week like for these miners? And then maybe we can kind of have, like, a labor socialist movement based off of the new overlord providing better conditions. These guys could have some fucking sick days or something. <laughs> it's got to be like a six-day work week leave. or something. Uh, yeah, Unpaid so, <laughs> unpaid leave? I don't know. Yeah. The Cerulean... What was Real. the name? <laughs> the Cer Cerulean goddamn Congress is going to block <laughs> their ability to strike. There's, yeah. <laughs> We, I'm pro labor. <laughs> yeah. I'm pro labor, but you cannot strike you. Oh, guys, I'm pretty pro but, labor. <laughs> <laughs> if the labor's getting done. <laughs> yes, I'm pro, I'm pro getting shit done. Anyway, so I, I turn I to, to the camp. I go, work. where's the top dog here? I'm willing to bet $25 in the leadership of this camp that he can't poke me in the eyes with his fingers like this. I go, so come on, who's down. the hardest motherfucker here? Try and poke me in the eyes. I dare you. And I start getting in people's faces. Give me a roll. <laughs> Give me a d20. Okay. Getting in their faces. <laughs> Am I flying you around to people? Oh, yeah, it's a 20. Yeah. Here. A 18. Oh, let's Ooh, go. 18. Yeah. Oh, fuck. And, and you float down directly towards the front of that kind of massive stone mine. And there you see one individual with the longest, curliest of the gold shoes. Uh -oh. And they have kind of a boned face mask, but the teeth are rather smooth. And, and as you land, there's just a dramatic plume of kind of sand that shoots out. And they are startled by your presence. Boy, superhero landing, though, with your fist in the ground. Yeah. Fist in the ground. <laughs> naturally. You slowly look naturally. Up. Which is really weird given your body yeah. proportions. Yeah, we're going to be all on your shoulder. <laughs> to break because both it's like my legs. This ultra long torso, and then your fist barely yeah. <laughs> it hits the ground. But the, the plume is uh, magnificent. Carlos lumbar is so strong. He's got a <laughs> yeah. strong back. Yeah. I go. His eyes go going wonky trying to hold me. your ass up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and as the cultist jumps back, they're alarmed. And, and to, to, to what do I owe the pleasure? Uh, yeah, I was sent here by the uh, top dogs of this organization. Uh, I'm just supposed to take over this mine. You come from the head of Hard Rock? <laughs> That's me. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> from from HQ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm from HQ. Uh, they uh, HR HQ. Yeah, I'm new blood, kind of a um, you know, I'm just like. One of the top dog sons or something new, like that. New what new blood, blood top dog? dog. Yeah. Yeah. That's some nepotism no, yeah, right there. New money. I, yeah. That's, like you haven't heard power. of me because I'm like top dog's like nephew, and he hired me. And he, and he gave me this mine as like, you know, something to run, keep me busy. And as you look down at their footwear, you notice many gemstones across the shoes, and they look at yours, which appear to be rather blank in terms of stones, mm -hmm. and they go, "Why would they send someone new to replace me?" called nepotism dude you ever heard of it you ever have family member that you know has done shit in their life and then they kind of use their position to you know i'm yeah i'm from it's generational wealth dumbass that's why i'm here i'm taking your fucking job give me your goddamn shoes too yeah take your shoes <laughs> yeah <laughs> G give me those shoes and try to poke me in the eyes i dare you <laughs> do both of those give me things a roll. yeah oh god give me, give me a d20 okay oh. for what the eye poke or for the shoe grab what am i deception, oh, deception. okay come on sam we need this <laughs> Yes! Oh, we yes! got a 20. 20! Let's go! Right when it counts. Oh man. I, I give you I give your I give you raspberries on your dick and your balls. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you motorboat my thighs, dude. Yeah. And as oh. as the cult leader is questioning you, he steps back and he says, My goodness, forgive me. I didn't realize I stood before the pure one. 
and he looks down at your shoes, which have out, you know, absolutely nothing other than what JB's crafted smooth, not a gemstone in them. He didn't craft those. JB yeah, hasn't done shit, them. dude. Yeah. Well, honestly, yeah. we or, should or, have JB me, that, that Norm, that Norm crafted. Yeah. Excuse me, yeah. that Norm crafted. And he says, oh, "You must forgive me for my insolence. I, I'm, I'm just but a humble servant here to the Hard Rock. I will have you know that." We've been doing excellent work, and he, he, he kind of gestures over to a, a large stone space with a few loincloth guards outside, and from what you can tell, it's just glowing orange inside. And he said production has been doing excellent. Oh, for, forgive him for his insolence. What is he, diabetic? <laughs> nah, this is what my man. cock says. <laughs> <laughs> I go, laugh at my dick's joke. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> laugh at the joke my penis just told you. <laughs> yeah, my, my hilarious do that. joke. <laughs> and it was funny. <laughs> Make them think it was funny. <laughs> uh, and also, dude... Can rule. Can rule it all. <laughs> oh, again, we don't need JB and Jet Cheetah anymore. <laughs> Send our new our army <laughs> towards them. Shut up! I start <laughs> strangling my penis down there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm just here for like a payday or something like that. I was probably gonna payday. turn over. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. your first day. <laughs> what? What? I, I, again, you must forgive me, but what? What do you mean, pay? Rock. Go get, get rocks. Get some yeah. Rocks. Uh, you see the, power these rocks. rocks that you're... My, my lord, these are yours to control. <laughs> I'm but a humble servant. Then serve. Before the pure one. Oh, yeah, you're a servant, but I'm sure you get, like, you know, rent, uh, you know, Netflix bills. You got, like, how do you pay for, like, things? They're, they're in a cult. Oh. In a cult, dude. You're overthinking you like, it. Just take, yeah, the, take the shit. You're blowing okay. it, dude. You're Stop. fucking the power blowing of the shit. Stones. You're being an idiot. <laughs> we are able no, to make I, I'm not being, anything I'm not being, we decide. Hold on. I, I, I go, hold on a second, bro. I'll be right back. And I, I turn around. I walk like five feet. And I bend over all the way <laughs> and start talking to my own crotch. And I go... Dude, if we just like offer to pay him like a little bit of something for like whatever we get in exchange for rock, then I'm sure they'll. You that's don't a need huge... to give. They think you're the the chosen one. You just take the rock. Yeah, you just can... said this is all yours. To what do you want to pay him for? Well, I I turn around. And I said, hey, I convened with my cock over there in the corner, and I've decided that your work life balance will remain the same as it was before, and I. Uh, Yes! <laughs> he proclaims uh, eagerly. And I say, and while I was over there, I also fashioned something. I tinkered a little bit while I was over there in the trench coat. And I pull out a, a picture frame and it has a crude drawing of him. And it says, Employee of the Month. And I give it to him. I say, You earn this, uh, champ. Make him eat sand. <laughs> make him eat as much sand as he can. <laughs> it is against. You earned yourself I a know. belly full of sand in this photo. <laughs> hey, here you go. Put that on your bedside table. <laughs> But my lord, I am simply a grain of sand oh in this desert. Wait, wait. I deserve nothing but my devotion to hard rock. Norman, Norman, yeah, so you yeah. forgive him for his sins. Be like Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes. Be like JC, Judge. Yeah, be, like, be like, what would Jesus Christ do? Give no, us you can rocks. implement Jesus. You can ask for the rocks. fucking rocks. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah. Ask get the, for three get wise the men to give you gifts. Oh yeah. So, uh, anyways, I go. Uh, yeah, those slaves over there hauling rocks and stuff. They, you know, they speak like the tongue that we're speaking or whatever. Like, can I get these guys to carry some rocks for me? Hebrews. Surely you're a great shaman of hard rock. This is. Yours to command. Right, Stop yeah. asking shit like that, dumbass. Well, I, you know what? Take. This guy recognizes me, I say angrily to my cock. But I don't know if those fucking idiots over there know They're who less. I am. They're less than him. And and this guy is completely supplicating, like... Like, yeah. hands and uh, knees. Hey, man, would you mind, chi chi uh, maybe? Child's pose basically at your feet. And this camp is at your fingertips right now. Oh, okay. The women. Wow. I'll find a way to fumble this. I'm not really. Yeah, you re really fucking this up. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and and it is you and Harlow. And Harlow 
is is very aware and sensitive to whatever these these stones possess. <laughs> like, there, Arlo? I feel the stones <laughs> <laughs> they're like they're right <laughs> in front of me. Skip. Yeah. And, I, and you I, uh, walk us towards the cave entrance that was glowing orange, <laughs> yeah, but it's so go... low, like uh, I'm getting scraped on the ceiling like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll reel it in. I start. Yeah, grunting. <laughs> And I'm doing the ceiling a little bit like that. Yeah. We look oh, fucking yeah, wait, horrific. We go sideways. We're, we're walking sideways through it like a spider, kind of. I start oh. t going at a brisker pace when I get feel the stones near. And, I start <laughs> and you're excited, yeah. Harlow. You feel oh, a sense of ecstasy and joy <laughs> filling you in. And a boiling sense of almost maniacal power that fills you as you draw near these. Norman, give me a, a tool that could, you know, chip off part of a rock. Or so you got like a... Wait, JB, hold on. I got an idea about how we can harness this. Do you trust me? No. Okay, well, then I won't tell you what this is at all. <laughs> fine, no, yeah, fine. Tell, okay. me, tell me what it is. Uh, no, ahead. Norman, let me see a little chiseler. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, my, you are something? you talking about my rock hammer? Yeah, oh, that would be great. Yeah. Okay. It's it. Oh, hammer? it's not in that pocket. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then I reach in the right one. Wow. Uh, I break off a little bit and I ground it up into little tiny lines. <laughs> oh! And do I feel anything from snorting the rock? As you snort it, your mind just becomes incredibly expanded to the point where your thoughts and reality start to slur. <laughs> And it's almost as though. Uh, <laughs> have you, uh, have you ever used? Guys, trust have, me. You, have, have you guys ever used any sort of augmented reality? Yeah. Pokemon AR, Go, like yeah. anything. Uh, so a little, exactly. little Charmander shows so up here. So your thoughts peripheral. are now you're almost able to see them, and you feel I see my health that bar. you could make them tangible. <laughs> I see my HUD. You know, <laughs> your ideas are are not just floating in this ether of your mind, but you can project them into the space in front of you. And you feel like if you concentrated enough and put emotion into it, you would be able to make something happen. Ah! Skip. JB. You gonna be a fucking square or what? You wanna take some of this shit? You can manifest your dreams. <laughs> JB's gonna look, look, I can fly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, right. And, Fuck and, it. And, and the cultist <laughs> looks towards you and he says. I'll get peer pressured into doing hard drugs. <laughs> I'll give a fuck. I, I, hey. I, fear, I fear to ask my lord, but I will only have but one chance. Forgive me, but might I. Learn of the visions, you see? Yeah. That, zap them. Give, them. give them some, yeah. Sam. Come My on, visions? Yeah. Uh, Harlow, I would probably uh, go over there and be like, I'm just going to help attune your mind and hold your fingers on either side of his head. And if he starts acting fucking weird with this shit, you just zap his brain or something. To... Deal. I'll, yeah. I'll, finger, <laughs> I'll put two fingers in his ears and you... Bring your hands out and feed it to him or just make him snort it. Because I feel like a peasant like this, like a serf, if he gets like a taste of that mind power from this drug, he might, uh, we might have either one, a fucking addict on our hands, or two, he's going to immediately abuse it. Uh, mm, should see. we just, I see. should we just master explode him now? Sir? <laughs> <laughs> I put some of my some of this rock stuff in my coke nail and I fucking, I, oh, here's a bump. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> And, and under the mask of the cult leader, you see his eyes widen just as though that's like that's good shit. <laughs> that's that is a lot. You know, they're they're in anticipation. They're watching the pros yeah. here. Yeah. Do you take it? Well, you, you give it to the guy. Yeah, I'm you, giving it. I'm, does he take it? it? That's yeah. the question. I'm, I, to the, to the, I'm giving yeah. it to the little cultist dude that used to be the man. I go here. You go, dude. Yeah, he wants to partake in it. Yeah. Please, I'm I'm not no, worthy do of it. such visions. You just asked. You, what you is your deal? To do it. I, I I was hoping that I would would learn from your no, you oh, you are oh, the you pure want one. Us to take it and and to to oh. learn from the the greatest of all hard rock would be the the purest and highest honor I could receive. I, I feel like, like for the rest of my life. 
I, I could lead better. I could do anything if it was under the guidance of your oh, vision. Oh, okay, yeah. Hey, guys, no, no, do you no, want to do something I, I, you no, want me to? No, I'm at no? your beck and call, I Lord. If I, I, I would, I'm here, but he to said it's I, I know, stuff. I know. I don't like tripping around people that are sober, so I think he should have to do some. Yeah, I say we all do some rails right now. Yeah, come dude, on. come on. Ride you doing up. some or are you getting your head exploded? Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> We're either going to fucking kill you. <laughs> Everyone's doing it. Even <laughs> Jet. Even Jet Cheat. I live to serve then god damn rock. shut up and snort yeah. this you're yeah. fucking Sniff ruining it. our eyes they they they, <laughs> they lean weird. forward <laughs> eager eager their nostrils <laughs> flared <laughs> it's gross wait there no i invited one of these motherfuckers yeah he's just <laughs> using no, it no, in no, that they, 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 and the cult leader they, they is a singular meant, come on let's... like a group of them was <laughs> Dude, they all came out of the like, fucking wait, wall you, you, you can't tell you can't tell what they the are. Rock. They're wearing a doing? mask and a robe. It could be a, just a frog person, for okay. all you know. Skip. All right. Yeah, and we do like that 70s show. <laughs> Camera turn around and we're yeah. all go, going crazy. You all yeah, do yeah. it? <laughs> and as you do, oh, one by one, you basically feel yourself kneeling down. And then you feel yourself essentially die. You no longer feel the need to breathe. I want you to can't anymore. feel your heart <laughs> beating. It's similar almost to the way that you got here, you begin to remember, and yet different. And each one of you begins to experience things that happened in your past, but not in your past. Lifetimes ago of ancestral memory begin to creep into your mind and feed you flashes oh, and information oh, of days past. You can't really make sense of it all, and you feel yourself kind of uncontrolled flying through this kaleidoscope of different memories. I see every person in my family that's ever had sex to make me <laughs> ancestral. <laughs> Not all of it was the ancestral. This is perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, no! <laughs> <laughs> and I keep watching it. I keep watching bits and pieces Ideas. of it too in the in the action. <laughs> Ideas <laughs> oh. and concepts, not your own. And yet entirely your own. Fill your mind <laughs> of things past, of things present, and of what you believe to be the future. Time stands still and is present all at once before you. You try to draw in. You see what you want. You focus on the idea, but the harder you do, the more distant it grows until you find yourself back at the oasis. Oh. I, I saw myself kill Jerry Beetleman in episode 14. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead forever. <laughs> I saw a podcast. <laughs> we have to make a podcast. Oh my god. And oh. as you come to, a final came... word echoes throughout your minds. I am nameless as the grains of sand. I am infinite, and I am all. You got a riddle? No, oh. it's just, it feels like your internal monologue, but you didn't think that. Weird. You guys get that message? <laughs> oh. <laughs> they, they just fried yeah. your fucking brain. How long were we out? Uh, yeah, where are we? And no one knows probably because we're all... Wow. What are you talking about? Uh, and it's clear that it's only been maybe five like seconds. DMT. Like, you sniffed it and then put it down and... You experienced this incredible sensation that felt like maybe at least an hour, if that, because time kind of got lost there. And then you came back, and by the time Harlow, if he was like the first or whatever, but basically by the time the first person finished and the last person started, the first person's already out. You're back. It, it, it's quite a hey, uh, cult guy. What's his name? Does he? He hasn't, or they haven't said anything about their identity. I shake him a little. No. Wake up, wake up, wake up, get wake up. It, get out of it. Uh, how was it? <laughs> What'd you think? Are you more committed to the cause? Less committed? No, I got my fingers in his fucking ears. <laughs> right, how are you feeling? Static coming out of it. It's cells. It's all cells. there is. You're I'm here just for the cause. Oh. You're way off base. Your readings are off base. Here. <laughs> yeah. Just, just cause. Three. JC2 multiplayer. JC2. Oh, well, what's you're here for the cause? Okay. And uh, 
interlinked or whatever. Yeah, inter <laughs> interlinked cells. It just causes yeah. this can now. Cells, that... Interlinked cells. Interlinked. Oh. I couldn't remember that oh, part. Of it. I, uh, just like you, I'm here because I'm able to use the stone. Yeah. Well, you know. These others can't, but are reliant <laughs> on me. And so well, I fill the oasis and continue yeah. the production. Why don't we bring one of the random peasants that we all think can't do them down here and just see if... It's experiment. Yeah, let's just see if they can right. do it. Maybe crash this whole ide ideology down. I mean, we have tried many uh, times, but I would never attempt to uh, stop the the pure ones. What normally happens when we do that? I forget. Uh, typically, they basically lose their minds and or die. Oh God, look at Jerry. He's so weak minded. Is he okay? And I shake him. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, is that you? <laughs> I just pictured a Jesus diaper. Jesus Christ, no, he I he's stupid. stupid. <laughs> he's, he's gone completely incontinent. Uh, the, the, the line between the shallow and the deep uh, appears to be much thinner than we think, and a strong mind is needed to survive. Unfortunately, they're better at mining than they are at minding. That's funny, and I like that. And you never dive in the shallow, but you dive in the deep. What is your name, <laughs> companion, brother? And he just kind of stares blankly, and again, you just hear I got his mask, I lifted off. In What's your head. Mask? Yeah. <laughs> I am nameless as the grains of sand. What do you sand. look like? I am infinite, and I am all. Oh, yeah, creepy. I want that mask off. Yeah, what, is you, what do they look off. like? We ripped the mask off. Give me, give me a roll. Does you he do not give a shit that, surf? like, <laughs> that Sam's dick just, like, ripped his mask off? <laughs> like, there's... Isn't he still kinda, technically can Sam in the just, Can coat? Sam, can you roll for me? I my camera's not. Yeah, I so. got hot dice tonight. Right? Just, yeah, he's got hot dice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Surely maybe, yeah, you got the he camera. can't now roll a bad dice after two great ones. Seventeen. Oh, oh my god, this shit's loaded. Yeah. Nice. And as you lift the mask, it's a very bony, pale, ah! kind of protruding <laughs> face. The bag on his head. <laughs> Yeah, put it back. Put it back. Uh, they're, they're they're definitely human, but it seems like they haven't seen the sun or removed that mask in a very long oh, time. Stinks. Indentations, wrinkles, and yes, it doesn't smell the best. Uh, uh. Is he bald under there? Does yeah, he give a shit hair. that yes. that just happened? Oh, he is I? No, he he's he's completely. This person is just a doll uh, before the gods. They feel are standing in, in front of them essentially. Can I poke his eyes. To... Let, let me poke him in the fucking eyes just to see because it's. You get react. the idea that whoever this pure one is is clearly a very high up person in the organization of whatever the heck this cult is, and due to their spread out nature and the lack of most likely whatever communication they have. You know, if the big boss comes running around, they don't have a way to verify it too well, and you did a very convincing job of it, so. You have free run of this place. Oh. Well, I'm like your dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he looked gummy. Oh yeah, so he would probably feel good. Uh, huh? Jerry, what do you suggest we do now? These are the these are definitely the right stones. These bad boys can power your contraptions well, on a mass scale. I, uh, I did your you did your part, so now you owe me. All right, we, what? You know, how does that <laughs> work? No, <laughs> <You> I. <owe laughs> <me. laughs> I point my, I point my this together. We were, listen, listen, I wouldn't have put up with all this shit unless I got mine. And I want something, all right? I want you to help me make my prototype. I, just I want you got to command you the these people. Rocks. Yeah, but you know, since it's free labor, can you just he, no, command you them Harlow to make my stuff, then, my good shit? You pay it's Harlow not, and then he fucks off. Well, mm. you, you get your, okay, you get your rock, but we, you know, this is a perfectly good. Um, opportunity I, I, uh, here. Please make um, my shit for me. Surf? Not you. First of all, you don't even have a command. It's <laughs> fucking. It's Norman over here. He's the. He's the voice. Oh. He's the. So I'm asking he's Norman. The mouth of yeah. Command them to make my design. Your design. I thought yeah. I was the tinker. I thought we yeah. were the tinkers. Norman, uh, I'm starting to feel some yeah, real change invention. out of Jerry. I just roped you into this. Oh, okay. Hold on. Do not wrong me, Jerry, for my power is tripled since we last spoke mere minutes ago. And I was hoping Harlow wouldn't be so direct about it, but yeah, he definitely is kind of holding the, I, the, the edge I, there I, I over Jerry. I shoot off the trench coat and, uh, and Norman. I shoot them off my body, and I rise! Yeah, and I shoot blinding light from my body. Ah!
Oh, these are awful. This guy's getting peed on and hair shoved in his mouth. Who would want to remember that? And now he gets some kind of crab bow? This is just ridiculous. And this one, look at this. He kills a kid? Is that seriously what I'm looking at here? What in the sick spinnerets of Sphinx Tar? Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. I think I'm gonna be sick here. I got the hot sweats. Am I not known as a poisonous pillar of power? I thought I was doing something truly evil with my dubious plotting. I brim with nefarious intent, but this, ugh, it's revolting. I feel like I'm seriously about to puke here. There isn't a moment left to spare, and the nerve using my memory foam. We must deal with this threat immediately, Codename Ocho. One amongst them may prove to be an ally of sorts, but I can't be certain without further investigation. It also appears they may have taken the courier hostage, so approach with extreme caution. As based on their memories, I think it's safe to assume that each one of them is a lethal and dangerous psychopath. Go now to the headspace travel main lobby. I'll push them there, but expect you to handle the rest. If the opportunity presents itself, find out what you can of their intention. Otherwise, prepare to eliminate them by any means necessary. Kisses, SLO.